We're refreshing our master bedroom. And I don't know why, <laughs> but we are, and I'm just here along for the ride. We built our master bedroom three years ago and it's beautiful, it's light filled, but it's very white. And I feel like it's missing that extra layer of color and styling. And I believe your bedroom should be a sanctuary and I want it to feel amazing. So we, let's get this right. There is actually nothing wrong with it, but we're gonna inject some more personality into it. Is That's that right? right? That's right. So here is the master bedroom. This is the biggest bedroom we've ever had. It's a great size, good size. Beautiful, Heaps of natural light. Beautiful big windows that look out to the trees and a little bit of the beach. It's, it's really nice. lovely. We pretty much all sleep in here. The kids are in here by the morning every night. So we don't really love the idea of that, but they end up in here anyway. <laughs> So this room really does have it all, doesn't it? It's the, literally the biggest bedroom we've ever had. It really is massive. We have a big walk-in robe and en suite. They have lots of natural light with the skylights, ample storage. We have the tall storage on one side and that big bank of drawers on the other. Yeah, everything's great in here. I'm really happy with what we designed. So we're actually not changing anything in these two spaces. Basically, all the, the big ticket items in here we love, but I really think it's time for that refresh. One thing I don't love, I actually don't love the, the mat behind our bed. Like, it actually, you hit your head on that, and if you've got no hair, it's actually quite harsh. <laughs> I think the mat's gonna stay. I want it gone. <laughs> The main part of this bedroom refresh is going to be painting the walls because I do feel like paint is the most cost effective way to completely change the look of a space. This bedroom needs that extra layer and I want to bring in the sandy tones with a slight element of green um, and I'm really after that coastal look and feel. Here I've found all these beautiful sandy tones and I'm just tossing up whether I go for something a little bit more with a green base something more with that blue base, or it could be something literally smack in the middle of the two. I feel like a bedroom should be cozy and warm and inviting. Um, so I've chosen Torben Safari suit, which has a green undertone. And I'm also gonna choose some linen to suit that. So the paint's gonna go from the doors all the way around this curve wall, along the VJ, um, over on this wall, that whole door is going to be the same colour. All this except the louvers. I'm undecided about the, no, we are undecided about whether we paint this wall. I want to paint it, Kyle does not. So this is quite a white wall too. Look, we're probably going to paint this wall. Now that we've taken everything off the walls, we've pulled the bed out. Um, first things first, we need to put a little bit of protection down on the carpet. They're just gonna whip around and give these walls a light sand just to get any grime off it and prepare it for the new coat of paint. This isn't a subtle change in color. As soon as the paint goes on, you can dramatically see the difference, the before and after. And I absolutely love it. I swear I've had soup the color of this <laughs> paint color. The colour has always meant to be there. That's how it felt. When I walked in, it felt like, oh, thank God. It's best practice to always do two coats of colour. Your first one is going to be your base, but with a dark colour like this, you're always going to see like a bit of the existing colour underneath it, and that second colour really helps to block it all out. The boys are finishing the second coat now. They are using the Endure in a low sheen finish. So it's a great idea to prevent those scuffs and abrasions on the skirting boards to use a different paint. We are using the Torman's water-based enamel and as the name suggests, it's water-based so it's super easy to clean up, low VOC and it's really going to protect those areas from scuffs and abrasions. The finished room, we always loved the key pieces, but adding that colour, I feel, has added that extra layer of styling. I honestly walk in here and just feel really happy, and I guess that's the perfect example of how paint or a colour can transform a space. I think the feeling you get when you walk into a room that you're happy with is so lovely. So I encourage you, if you are thinking about doing your master bedroom, go for it, because it will not disappoint. And it's a sort of project that you can smash out over a weekend as well. It's really quick and fast. And from a budget point of view, I think we probably spent 
150 to $180 on paint, another $30 on some sandpaper, um, some prep equipment. So you can literally redo your whole room for under $300. We did pay our painter to do it and that is purely because we are so tied up on our next project coming. Um, but if you can paint yourself, that is a great way to save some money. Then you can put that extra cash into the bedroom styling. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because we are busy working away on our next online series and you guys will be the first to know.